going on y'all welcome back to the channel and welcome back to gorgeous glorious outdoor greatness we are going to be doing some remote stream fly fishing today it's time for me to go find some food uh, find a good water source sun's high middle of the day i'm ready to get into some shade cool off a little bit and find some trout there's various species of trout up here and you can keep a lot of them so what i'm going to do is uh, take my backpack take a stringer take the fly rod i got a bunch of flies and we're going to go see if we can get some trout out in the middle of the gorgeous woods. Let's go. Not quite New Zealand, but still pretty awesome. So what I found out over there was I really can't cast a fly in the woods. I should have known that. So I came back to my little base camp here. I've got this entire valley behind me uh, and the stream runs through it. I mean, literally I could walk this entire thing and trout fish both ways. I'm gonna walk this stream, I'm gonna look for them and uh, just backpack fly fish um, in this remote creek here. And if I get some fish, which I'm planning on doing, I hope I do, because I need food, I'm gonna take them back here, put them in my cooler. If I have enough time, I'm just gonna get up on one of these big hills and I'm gonna glass. I'm just gonna start looking for elk in the evening. So that's our plan. Let's get after some trout. There's a lot of species here. So we could get into a lot. There's just, there's one that has to be, you, you can't keep it unless it's under eight inches. I swear, I mean, that's a, that's a donker there. But anything else, there's no size uh, limitation. So it's, uh, it's the brook trout that's gotta be eight inches. So I think we're gonna run into some of those. I could just picture an elk just getting down and dirty in here. Ooh, this is swampy. Swampy, that's moosey up in here. Wow, look how beautiful. Ooh, I think I just saw one. Oh, I saw another one. I saw some trouts darting. Okay. My camp is right there and we already have trout. There's, so this is a little deep spot. I'm guessing this is what I gotta do. Let's just find these little deep holes. One thing I've noticed is there are plethoras of grasshoppers here. I'm sure that's a large part of their diet and I do have some grasshopper flies. Let's break out the old fly rod and let's just see if we can whip one up right here and then keep going trying to find these pools. Okay, so with our little selections here, got a bunch of different flies. I've got this tackle right here, which I bet this box is eight inches, if I had to guess. I'm gonna have to go get my ruler, but that might be a good measuring tool. And I've got one of these fly boxes. And I think I'm gonna put one of these tiny hoppers on. That little thing. I have to thank my boy Alex Parrott for the fly rod. Let me borrow it. It's a good man. This tippet feels like 12 pounds or so. I don't really know. I saw something. Get up in there. Right on the edge, you know? It's the real deal. Trout fishing in the wild. Okay. Let's see if we can get one in this little clear area. Oh, he's hot. He saw it. He's on it. That almost happened right there. Just gotta get the right drift. Come on, baby. I saw something dart out. They're so camouflaged that I can't really see. But I know that they're in here. That's the juice. Get that little fly. Oh yeah, get that thing. Oh, one just almost crushed it. Came out and just said, hey, I'll take that. Okay, maybe they don't want the big grasshopper. Let's see if I can just get up here get up high float one. Oh gosh oh 
Oh man, that was that was a decent sized little trout right there. Oh, got him! Oh my gosh! Oh, I got something big! Oh baby! Oh, we came up and popped it. Oh, how amazing is that? Oh, that's beautiful. Fighting in the current. Right in that little eddy zone. Ooh. All right, let's get you in the net, guy. Okay, I think, like I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is a brook trout and he is well over eight inches, unfortunately. But I do want to get a picture with him. Wow, that's a nice trout. Oh, I wish I could put you on the stringer, buddy. Okay, this is my first brook trout. At least I think it's a brook trout. I hope it is because I'm letting it go and it's a good sized fish that I could eat. Okay, buddy. Go back into the streams. Oh, look at him just sitting there. Fresh oxygenated water. Man, y'all, that is so cool. You know, trout are pretty sensitive. Um, they live in highly oxygenated water, so it's good to not handle them that much, you know, and use a net. Keeps their skin nice and healthy. This guy should swim away as soon as he gets his, gets his bearings. I don't care who you are, that's pretty cool right there. I wanted to be safe rather than sorry. Um, and that one was definitely over eight inches. But that's just cool, you know. Just set up base camp this morning. Came out here into the wilderness. Made a few casts. The what I am? I'm just gonna walk, keep walking this meadow, this mountain meadow stream. Come on now, it's pretty awesome. I think I can keep four. I can keep four of any species. Uh, but that's all I get. Four eight inches really isn't much. Maybe there's some brown trout. There's some kokanees up here, I know, as well. Um, they're just not in this little stream. They're in some of the other lakes and uh, ponds and stuff that they have up here. There's another one. All right, I'm gonna switch up flies. You know, that was good for the big one. It was. But I'm gonna try one that's like a sinker or something. Actually, they're hitting on top. I've seen them hit on top. So I might just go for a little bit smaller presentation. Let's see what we got here. One of these little damsel doobies right here i don't know what you call this but it's going on okay. Let's see if this makes the difference right here get that fly a little wet come on now get in there get in there oh i see they're hitting these little little nymphy poos there's things that are hitting the water Sneak attack. Oh, good. yep, 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 yep. See him. They're so frightened. They definitely don't like me here, that's for sure. Oh, we got another. This might be an eater. Come here, old chap. Ah. Man, what a beautiful fish. Man, he's probably too big too. Dag Put him on the board here. My gosh. I mean, that thing is 
it's so long. <sighs> Time to return you to the waters. Oh, that's so cool. Discovered a nice little patty right there. Patty to the shin. And most of my backpack area. Oh, I just had one. Oh, I spooked him. That was it. That was the cast. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Actually, it probably looks hard too. So, I'm just, I'm drained right now. I got a headache. I think I'm gonna head back up to my little base camp. I'm just gonna have to make me a, a mountain house or something. I was hoping to get some and make them for lunch. I am gonna keep trying though. I just need to get something in my system right now. Still trying to adjust with the altitude. That's really what today is about is you know, setting up camp, fishing here, try to get some food, and then just like letting my body adjust to going up 10,000 feet. After today, I should be okay to really start trucking, but I'm winded on everything. It's just crazy. Dehydrated headaches, altitude, it's real. Got cow poop on my hand. Um, who doesn't love themselves? A just a good old fashioned mountain house. Beef stroganoff, one of the classics. This is what you do when you're in the mountains. You make yourself mountain house meals if you can't catch fish. That looks about right. I eat a lot of these in New Zealand. But basically what you do is just put boiling hot water in there, you seal up the bag, and then you eat it out of the bag. It's kind of convenient. One key tool, though, that you do need is a long spork. That right there, save your day. Keep from getting uh, any other stuff on your knuckles. Since I've already, I mean, I am deep in the poop right now. Just realized how bad that is. Y'all, I need to just go bathe myself, like get buck naked with the brook trout in there and wash down it's cooled down a lot at this point so this is nice this is really nice I'm gonna fish for another couple hours after I eat my strogue and then I'm going to start hiking up in the mountains I'm gonna change clothes maybe I'm gonna bring my bow just in case we need to find ugh. we need to find sign literally sign sign means uh, elk poop, elk uh, prints, you know, anything, their, their smell, their must, places where they've torn up the woods. We just need to get in that area. We need to find that area. I want to do some day hikes from my camp right here. I'm definitely going to do some more fishing trips. There's lots of little lakes and stuff up here, but today's the day to just get those game plans together and, you know, get some intel. Coleman, you do me right every time. I love you so much. Back in the game now, after some good stroganoff. Mountain House meals get old after a while. Like I think the, the way to do it is to get like, you get a protein source out of your like fish, if you kill an elk or something, whatever. And then you just kind of mix those in. Have ourselves a little ravine. Don't want to fall down here. This is fly fishing at its, I mean, this is what you think about, right here. Look at all that gorgeousness. I would consider this right here one of those cliffs I don't really want to fall down. This rock is very slippery. I may have to do this backwards. Do the old back action. But the stream looks too good not to go down here. Flashbacks. Yeah. Mm. Turn the body, stay low. Mm. It's not a good time on the shins. 
Look at the fight. Man, they're just cool fish. Really cool. Yeah, baby. Coming in, little side pool. Come on now. Oh, there's one right there. Look at that guy. Wow. What do we got happening here on the species? What species is this? I don't know what this is, but there's a big trout. There's a big trout in here. It needs to be caught. Oh gosh, he got it. He got it. Oh, he tagged it. Oh, he's a runner. Oh, oh, he's running upstream. Oh, come on, baby. Absolute smash fest. He is a runner, baby. Oh gosh, he's about to fall in the river. Oh, what a fighter. What a fighter and a king. King of the creek right here. Woo! Boy, that was awesome. Look at the fight. Man, they're just cool fish. Really cool. Woo! Yeah, baby. Somebody tell me that this is not a brook trout. I'm out here catching hogs. These have to be one of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. Really cool, they're slimy, they're wriggly. They don't really take off right away, I've noticed. It takes them a minute to get, get their life organized and then they take off. But don't let this scare you. He's gonna be fine. Just get upright. Just get upright. Get yourself a little balance. I mean, that's a 16 inch fish right there. Going into the current. See ya. At this point, I don't really care about the food. It's just like, can I do it? Can I catch them? Y'all, these are big. Are these brook trout? I don't know, please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna feel like a complete dummy if these are brown trout. I don't know, I've never fished for any trout besides rainbows. The only way I can really find out is going to town. Oh my God, that cannot, these are huge. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera up here and I'm gonna sneak up on them and see if we can get one of these big ones. Whatever they are, brook trout, brown trout, I'm scared to keep them because I don't want to break the rules. Okay. Got my tiny fly. Ooh, gosh. Look at these guys. Nice orange breasted beauties. Turn. Oh, look at that one. That one just popped right at the top there. Oh, look at my fly game. Kind of on point right now. What is happening though? This guy is huge. He needs to be caught. Oh gosh, right there in the corner. That's it. That's it. Now y'all just got me all flustered. Look at me now, catching toads, tree toads. Oh, maybe I'm not meant for this. Just gonna go ahead, and give mad props to the fly fishermen out there. Tough little dangle, that one is. Especially when you can just see them sitting there, and you're like, ugh, bite my fly. They just don't do it. I have to go do a little scouting. So, you wanna go? 
We don't really have a choice. We're gonna repack our bag, get it ready for elk scouting. Change out of some shorts. Got bit by some weird stuff. There's tons of bugs out here. And prairie dogs, I guess they are. Seen them running by the tent and everything. Anyways, we're not gonna have trout tonight, unfortunately, but I, I like fishing for them. They're fun, they're fun. Especially in the setting. Probably just cast this thing all day and not even care. One more thing I gotta do. Wash the doo-doo out of my pants and fill this thing up with some water so I can filter it. That way when I get back, I'm gonna have enough. I am running through water like crazy. Y'all wouldn't believe how much, how dehydrated you get just from the altitude. So, gotta stay hydrated. Washing my doo-doo out of my britches. So we got our platypus hooked up. Runs through this hose right here. And then it's going to this bag. It's like an IV, it just fills it up. So this is the filter. And it's just all done by gravity. It's a pretty cool little system. It's supposed to take out 99.9% .9 of all that stuff that'll give you diarrhea and worms and all that stuff. So four, four liters, that'll get you by. That's really fast, a lot faster than I was anticipating. Whew. 540 in this last hour of the day. I'm packing out and I'm heading up high. I think I'm gonna head up that way. Uh, I'm gonna go as high as I can go up and see if I can get a view. And there may be all trees, but I need to see some action. I need to see what these elk are doing. So that's my plan. Then I'm gonna come back here and I'll make me some dinner and I'm gonna go to bed and then we're gonna hunt in the morning. <laughs> feet. That's some big tracks right there. Big tracks coming through here. <coughs> Got some fresh poop. Tons of sign in here. Well y'all, this is how I'm gonna end my day right here. I'm gonna be looking out over the mountains. I found some good sign up there, uh, a little bit higher. I mean, I didn't really realize, but elk, when they come through the woods, uh, it's like a herd of cattle. They just tear it up. Huge tracks, got fresh poop up there. I just heard a bald eagle. I did, I heard a bald eagle. That is how we're gonna close this out, y'all. So, on the next one, we are gonna be heading to, uh, to go scout out more elk. Um, and there's some other fisheries around here too. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next. I'm hungry. I would love to get some delicious fish, get that knocked out before I really go deep, deep into the woods. This is so tough, hiking up here, just tonight going 1,500 feet up. I'm exhausted and it's gonna be a good idea to just take my small tent, a spike out gear, and just go. Just go up there and spend like two or three days wherever they're wherever they're at so thank you guys for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed some fishing action today stay tuned for more outdoor greatness and go ahead and just smash the like button because just look i'll see you guys in the next one very soon